What's going on everybody? My name is Aiden and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have some news about the All-NBA Defensive Team categories. And of course, a Bulls player has snuck his way in there and we're going to talk about it in this video. But before we get any further, if you like the video and you want to see more from me, drop a like, drop a follow and or subscribe if you are new. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls, the All-NBA Defensive Teams. Do you think it's the right decision to have this Chicago Bulls player in there. Now, I know it's probably a mistake for me to keep the name from you guys. You've seen the thumbnail. You've seen the title. And at the end of the day, you've seen everything you need to see. So with that being said, congratulations to Alex Caruso for making the All-NBA Defensive second team, uh, I guess, nomination. Congratulations to him, ladies and gentlemen. And it is rightfully deserved. Alex Caruso was a shining light on the defensive end in what was a rather lackadaisical and rather below average defensive team this season. Now, of course, it wasn't the same as last season. Alex Crusoe made the All-NBA defensive first team. It's second team this season. But at the end of the day, it seems like it was a very weird team in general. I think both teams are very, very weird. So with that being said, I would like to, I guess, quickly go into who made the NBA All the All NBA Defensive First Team, and then we'll move on to the second team uh, as well. So firstly, congratulations to the big men, pretty much all big men for the first team, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Bam Adebayo, Anthony Davis, Rudy Gobert, Herb Jones, and Victor Wenbenyama. Victor Wenbenyama making the All-NBA Defensive First Team in his first season. I don't know if that's been done before or not. Someone can let me know in the comments below, but that's a pretty big accomplishment for him. Congratulations. Moving into the second team, it's all guards, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got Alex Caruso, Drew Holiday, Jaden McDaniels, Jalen Suggs, and Derek White. A very, very respected All-NBA Defensive Second Team as well. It's a bit weird that all men, not all men, sorry, all centers, all guards, because uh, all of them are men at the end of the day, uh, they all got the All-NBA defensive first teams, and then all the guards got the second team. That's a very weird thing. I don't think that's happened before. Uh, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but nonetheless, look, I guess it's not a really about positions. It's about who played the best defensively. And maybe the big man just dominated the defensive end this season compared to previous. So congratulations to the big man. But for Alex Caruso, uh, again, extremely well deserved. Let's not forget, we've been, we've been, I guess, we fell short on a lot of individual awards this season. Kobe White with the most improved category, finishing second. DeMar DeRozan with the clutch player of the year category, finishing second. You know, two, if those two ended up winning individual awards... We could come out of this situation saying we had a very good individual season. Not collectively, because collectively we finished ninth. That's not good enough. We can all see that. But individually, if Kobe White won the most improved, DeMar DeRozan won the clutch player of the year, and Alex Caruso goes on to be part of the All-NBA defensive second team, I think it's a pretty good individual year for those players. But let's not forget, Alex Caruso did win a different award this season. He won the Hustle Player of the Year. He was the eighth man, I guess, in history to win that award. So congratulations to Alex Caruso. So Hustle stats directly puts him also in the defensive team as well. He should be very proud of himself. And Bulls Nation, we should be very proud of him as well. Congratulations. With that being said, there's no need to take this video any further. We've said all we needed to say. Congratulations to every single person that was part of the defensive team. Um, again, def defense is a big part of the game. It's, a, it's part of the game that's not often talked about enough. But it's a part of a game that if you don't have, you don't win. So Caruso, in my opinion, impacts winning. And notice a whole bunch of those those players that are in the defensive teams are players that are still in the playoffs, are players that have been in the playoffs, maybe except for the Bulls and Wenbenyama, of course, but mostly they've been participating in the playoffs. So defense does impact winning, and the Bulls need to get right back into it next season and produce one of the best defensive seasons we have ever seen. And that's what I'm hoping for next season. We'll wait and see. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and a follow, and or subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next Chicago Bulls-related video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.